Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm gonna answer a question from one of my viewers, and that is, how do I capture the screen on my computer? So this is one of those questions that some people know the answer to already, but a lot of people don't. So I'm gonna go over a few different ways to capture your screen, and who knows, maybe there was a way to do it that you weren't aware of. So the screen capture tool that I use is included free with Windows, and it's called the Snipping Tool. You could search for it in the Start menu, just put in Snipping Tool and there it is. You could also right click on it and pin it to the Start menu. When you open the Snipping Tool, you get this window here, which lets you create a new capture of the screen. You can also choose the mode. If you wanna choose a freeform snip, a rectangular snip, a window snip to get the whole window or a full screen to get the entire screen. Typically, I'm usually doing rectangular or full screen. You can also set a delay if there's something that you needed to click on. Like for instance, I wanted to play this video wait a few seconds and then have it capture the screen rather than capturing the screen as soon as I click the button, I could set a delay. And there's also some options here, but I don't think I've ever messed with any of those. So I'll just go ahead and click cancel. Let's go ahead and create a new rectangular snip. I'm gonna click on the new button. And then the screen dims a little bit. So what it wants us to do is select an area by drawing a box. I'm gonna tap or click and hold and drag. And let's say I wanna get just this area here. It puts our captured area into a window, and then we have some more options to save it. We can copy it, we can send it via email, or we can use the pen to draw annotations. For example, I could make a little arrow there, and I can control the color of the pen. I can also highlight with the highlighter. If I wanna highlight this area here, and I can even erase if I want to, to get rid of some of those annotations by clicking on them. And then all those same options in the toolbar can be found up here in the menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save, and I'll go ahead and just give this a name. I'm gonna call it YouTube channel because that's what it's a picture of. And then you can save it as a few different formats. There's PNG, GIF or GIF, JPEG, and HTML. Typically, you're gonna to wanna to choose PNG or JPEG. I recommend choosing PNG because it's lossless compression, so it's not gonna throw away any information to make the file size smaller. However, if you prefer to have the smallest file size possible and you're not concerned about preserving the quality of the image, then you can choose JPEG. I'm gonna choose PNG, I'll click Save, and I can just close out this window. Now if I look here in my folder, I have that saved screen capture. Now there is another way to do it, and it's kind of the old fashioned way, and that is to use the print screen key on your keyboard. And if we hit the print screen key on our keyboard, you're not gonna see anything happen, but if we open an image editing program or art application such as Photoshop, and then we go to File New, Photoshop is gonna recognize that there's something copied into my clipboard, and that's what the print screen button does. It captures your screen, but it keeps it in system memory, which is just in your clipboard, kind of like when you copy and paste a piece of text, that copied text goes into your clipboard. Well, now you have an image in your clipboard. And so if we create a new document, and then we go to edit paste, there we go. We have our capture of our entire screen, or in my case, screens, because I have three monitors. I have my Cintiq 27 right here, an HDTV above it, and then off to the side, I have a regular computer monitor. So this is really kind of inefficient because I only really wanted to capture one of these screens. So what I'm gonna to have to do now is go to the crop tool and then crop this down to get just the area I want. And then I can hit enter to apply that crop. And now I have my screen capture. And then I can go to file, save as. And then here in Photoshop, I can choose from many more file formats. But again, I'll just choose PNG, call this YouTube channel two, and I'll click save and okay. And there we go, I have my screen capture. Now, if you're using a Mac, you might not have the print screen key. In that case, you can hit Command Shift 3, which will capture a screenshot of your entire screen. You can hit Command Shift 4, which turns the cursor into a crosshair, which you can use to drag to select a portion of your screen to capture it. Then you release the mouse button or trackpad to take the picture. Or you can hit Command Shift 4, then Spacebar, and then click on a window. Hitting the Spacebar turns the crosshair into a little icon that you can move over any open window to capture it. All you need to do is click on that window to take a screenshot of it. And there's also lots of other applications that you can install for both Windows and Mac that'll let you capture your screen. So there you go, those are some different ways to capture an image from your screen. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more videos for digital artists like you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.